So once we get to a point where we have an efficient design, we also have some other tools. Jen, let's go up and look at the report tab up on the left. It says cost calculations. This is a concept that uh, the kids actually love. The middle schoolers like it, like it better than the high schoolers. Uh, the middle schoolers have a, have a real cute name for this. It's basically the cost, you know, it's, it's about efficiency. It's about when you, uh, when, you, when you go and you order material for something. If you have every member exactly the same, you get a little break. But if you've got a member or two that is completely different, has to be made differently, then you're going to have to pay a premium for that manufacturer to reset up and build that piece for you, that, that unique piece for you. Well, the middle schoolers call this eliminate the onesies and twosies. So if we look here, we see this member here. We have a 55 millimeter member. Actually, we're going to look at the, uh, we'll look at the one that's 120. The carbon steel member that's 120 by 120, and that's the only one we have. We are paying $1,000 for that one unique member. Conversely, we're looking at 140 by 140 that's carbon steel, and we're paying $1,000 for all seven. So let's go back to the drawing board, close that, and let's locate that member, Jen. You can do it with size. And there it is, 100. The 120 member, that's member number four. If we look at the cost, it's 284, 255. If we increase that to 140, in this case it did not. So eliminating the onesies and twosies there did not. But that doesn't mean we should give up. We also keep in mind that we haven't optimized everything yet. So let's go to the bar member that is 100, Jim. Actually the 55. It's probably a bad example, but keep in mind, eliminating the onesies and twosies, the unique members, if you can get an economy of scale by not having those members unique, you don't pay that $1,000. So if you can increase the size, one or two sizes, and that is less than that $1,000 you pay for that unique member, then that's the way to go. You want to actually increase the size to make the member itself would be a slightly more expensive but you save money with the economy of scale.